What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM which is the 26 December 2019 build and I have been using this ROM for almost two days now and I gotta say that like it isn't what I expected just for like one major huge bug well that is the random reboots well it happens quite a lot of time and it makes the experience of using this ROM really annoying I don't know why it's happening I am decrypted over here I have flashed this ROM with orange fox recovery and talking about the flashing procedure I used well it is pretty simplistic because I am decrypted I have flashed the ROM file the fcrypt disabler and rebooted I did not even flash any like anx camera and stuff so when is it happening you may ask the random reboot stuff well it happens in certain apps while like accessing your storage or something or it may be affecting the memory or something like I'm not sure about it but let me show you if I open this MIUI file explorer and it now went stuck so it gets stuck the UI whole UI gets stuck for a moment like I cannot access even the status bar or the notification panel it goes black screen it shows the redmi by xiaomi logo again and now it shows the boot animation and it is back in the lock screen i can use the figment scanner now just because like this rom has the always unlock with the figment scanner but yeah there you like saw the problem well it happens with certain apps not all the apps the ui gets stuck for a moment everywhere as you can see but like otherwise while you are not like using those apps and stuff it should be pretty fine and again the security patch and stuff is latest december 5th 2019 and the stock kernel here is the crimson kernel and here you get the like android 10 like build of course as you can see and the evolution x logo up top with like those christmas kind of <laughs> like ui let me go back in the system we get the system updater and the developer options and stuff i enabled it and in the gestures we have the gesture navigation of android 10 and you can use the two button or three button navigation talking about the customization this rom is really a king you have the status bar option then we can get the rounded corners if you want to then clock option is there you can even change the fonts of the clock as you can see this is really cool you can change the like clock font color and stuff if you want to then we have the carrier label status bar items is there here you can like set any headset bluetooth etc icon you can enable them and then we have the status bar logo and the vaulty icon is there but like to enable it let me show you how to enable the mobile data once and turn off wi-fi then if it doesn't appear still you gotta like disable and re-enable it and as you can see right now the view icon is like enabled over here and you can change between like all these vaulty icons you can set view only vaulty vaulty oxygen os hd icon wallet and then we have the vaulty asus icon so a lot of icons options are there the mobile data and Wi-Fi and stuff is working fine, even the vault calls are working fine, but there is no call recording option by default. Network traffic like indicator is there, battery status style. We have the field circle, dotted and icon portrait. The icon portrait is like kind of this, not like the Redmi k 20 straight kind of battery portrait icon. That is not the case here. You can like change the, and you can change the battery percentage position to inside or next to the icon or hidden. And you have the battery percentage when charging, so that's cool. And it does support 18 watt fast charging, so that's not a problem. And in the notifications, we have the heads up disabling option, battery charging light, edge lighting option is there. Now we have the force close notification and stuff, then the kill app, ambient display brightness is there. Let me make it to full and see if it actually works. And let me show you that edge lighting again. Well, I have the YouTube premium, so it works as you can see this like edge lighting looks really fine over here. You can even change the colors if you want to of that like edge lighting. That's cool. We have the blink flashlight like MIUI and vibrate on connect or call waiting or disconnect is there. So in call vibrations are there in the quick settings. We have the vibrate on toggle touch header image and brightness slider and stuff is there quick setting opacity control and column and row numbers control for the quick settings panel are there tile tile you can disable it and quick setting footer text and in the power menu we have the advanced reboot and stuff is working fine like you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from like here however you want let me go back in the gestures we have the aosp gestures again and swipe to take screenshot is there it is working fine and the brightness control from the status bar is working flawlessly here too as you can see so this is not a problem here and we have the screen of power and torch this works fine too and status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep is there 
which I showed you already and the fingerprint scanner speed again is like pretty fast. I have no complaints regarding the fingerprint scanner speed here. I see the fingerprint scanner is like flawlessly working. No issues whatsoever that I could find with the fingerprint scanner at least. And in the hardware buttons, we have the invert layout, then the volume playback control and stuff. In the animations, we have the screen off or CRT or scale kind of animation. You can choose it however you want. And the whole UI animation is there. So that's it. And in the lock screen again, we have the figment unlock or the always unlock with the figment scanner. That is really great. We have the clock font size and font changing option and stuff for the like whole clock in the lock screen. And even the date font changing options are there. Charging info, charging animation is there. Then there is the media artwork kind of thing. So a lot of customizations in the lock screen too. In MISC, we have the gaming mode, then wake up on charge disabling option, screenshot type. And from here, you can change the USB configuration default to file transfer. So that whenever you connect your like PC with your phone with a USB cable, it will be straight in your like file manager. So that's great. Let me go back. And in the display settings, we have the adaptive or auto brightness, nightlight, live display from where you can change the whole RGB of the screen. Let me go back. We have the dark theme. And then if you scroll down, you get the double tap to wake and stuff. And from the lock screen display, you will get the always on when charging. But there is no always on for this display because this is simply IPS display. It doesn't need a always on kind of display option. And in the accent color, we have the like Xbox, Cinnamon, then like red, blue, etc. icons, oxygen, is kind of. And there is this like Evolution X red, Evolution X blue, green, etc. Lot of accent colors are present over here. Even this one. <laughs> Let me go back. In the font settings, we have lot of fonts like Google Sans, Source Sans. Then there is this LG Smart icon. Then there is like Slate for OnePlus. And lot of like fonts option are there for the whole UI. You can change the icon shapes if you want to from here. And let me show you the stock launcher is the like pixel launcher. If you swipe down anywhere on the home screen, you will get the quick settings panel. If you swipe up, you will get the app drawer. Pretty simple, you get it right. And the widgets and stuff are working fine here too. And the stock camera present by default here is the Google camera. This has been working fine even with the night sight and stuff. Google camera is working fine. You get this camera by default. You don't have to install it separately, but you can install ANX camera if you want to on this ROM. And for that, you just need to download a like ANX camera zip and just flash it with the recovery. But when your UI is facing a lot of random reboots, I won't suggest you doing that. And in the LED RGB remote app, like I have tested it, the IR Blaster present on this device is working flawlessly. It is working fine. No issues whatsoever with the IR Blaster. The DRM info still shows as level one. So that is great. You can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos. And in the recorder app, well, this is present by default over here. And this one works super fine here. As you can see, it is transcripting a voice without even connecting a headphone. And that is great that it works even with a built-in microphone. It doesn't work with the, like Redmi K20 Pro's built-in microphone. But yeah, this is working fine over here. So that's great. The Google Pay is working right out of the box. So you don't need to worry. And talking about the battery life, well, I would say the battery life isn't very good, but I could get about five to six hours of screen on time with it with those random reboots too counted as you can see from the screenshots. So the gap between that usage is like the random reboots. The battery life may not be as good as it used to, but I will definitely wait for an update on this ROM to fix that random reboot problem. And one more good thing here is that you get the live wallpapers and stuff. By default, you don't need to install them separately. Like this Pixel 4 live wallpapers, you have to just download them from here and it works flawlessly. I'm not gonna show you the RAM management and the like Android score and even gaming performance here because simply it's, it doesn't matter when the UI is like so much rebooting all the time. Like I cannot even log into my Facebook pages manager account. If I do that, it just randomly reboots. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. And the next video will be pretty interesting because I'll be trying to flash the latest Pixel experience from with Orange Fox recovery on this Redmi Note 7 Pro. So do stay tuned for that. And again, thank you so much for watching this video guys. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And you guys have a great year ahead. Bye now.